This is a video all about potions and how to craft them. That being said, let's get into it. All of these are crafted at a placed bottle or alchemy table, unless said otherwise. First, I am going to go over all of the materials you are going to use for potions and where to get them, as well as the game progression that the materials are gathered. Hard mode is entered after defeating the Wall of Black. Post Plantera is entered after defeating Plantera, which is a post mech boss. The mech bosses are hard mode bosses. Endgame is entered after you defeat the Lunatic Cultist. There will be timestamps at the top of the description if there is a specific potion you are looking for. Now for the materials you will need and where to find them. Daybloom. These are found in the forest biome during the day. Moonglove. These are found in the jungle biome during night. Blinkroot. These can be found in the underground layers. Waterleaf. These can be found in the desert biome. Deathweed. These can be found in your world evil biome. Shiverthorn. This is found in the snow biome. Mushrooms. These can be found on the surface forest biome. Cactus. This can be chopped down in the desert biome with an axe. Gel. This is dropped from killing slime. Glowing mushrooms. These can be found in the glowstrom biome underground. Fallen stars. These can be found on the ground during night. Lens. These can be dropped by killing a wandering eye or demon eye during the night. Iron slash lead ore. This can be found by mining in the ground. Platinum slash gold ore. This can also be found by mining in the ground. Rotten chunks slash vertebrae. This is dropped by world evil enemies. Feather. This is dropped by killing harpies in the space layer. Coral. This is found in the ocean biome. Obsidian. This is created when water and lava mix and can be mined with a pickaxe. Shark fit. This is dropped by sharks in the ocean biome. Hobbler. This is found underground in different area. Crisp honey block. This block is created when adding honey and lava together and can also be mined by a pickaxe. Amber. This item is found mining or inside of fossils when used on an excavator. Stinger. This is dropped by hornets in the jungle biome. Hellstone. This ore is mined in the underground hell biome with a pickaxe that is world evil or higher. Bottles. These are crafted with glass. Glass is crafted with sand at a furnace. Bottled water. This can be crafted in your inventory while having a bottle and standing inside of a water source. Pixie dust. This item is dropped by pixies in the hollow biome, hard mode. Crystal shards. These are found in the underground hollowed biome, hard mode. The fragments. These are dropped after destroying the respective pillar during the celestial event, end game. Unicorn horn. This item is dropped by unicorns in the hollow biome. Hard mode. Pink gel. This is dropped by the pinky slot. Specular fish. These are commonly found fishing in the forest, jungle, or snow biome. They are also found in the underground cavern and underworld layers. Chaos fish. These are fished in the underground hollow biome. Hard mode. Fire blossom. These plants are found in the underworld biome. Obsidian fish. This fish can be fished from lava with lava critters found in the underworld biome, or with normal bait and a lava proof fishing hook, which is fished from the lava. Or alternatively, a hotline fishing hook, which is obtained from doing 25 angler quests at a 1 in 75% chance. Double caught. These fish can be found by fishing in sky islands or surface layers of the jungle. Pimoprana. This is fished in the crimson biome. Variegated large fish. This is fished in the jungle biome. Bone. This is dropped by skeletons in the dungeon. Damselfish. This is fished in any biome in the space layer with the exception of the corruption, crimson, hollow, snow, desert, and jungle biome. Armored cavern fish. This fish is fished from the underground, cavern, and underworld layers in any biome. Crimson tiger fish. This is fished from the crimson biome. Flurpin koi. This is fished from lava. Prismite. This is fished in the hollow biome. Hard mode. Frost minnow. This is fished in the snow biome. Pearls. These are found by opening oysters that can be found fishing in the oasis mini biome. Princess fish. This fish is fished in the hollow biome. Hard mode. Antilion mandible. This is dropped by antilions, antilion larvae, antilion chargers, everything antilion found in the desert and underground desert biomes. Stinkfish. This fish is fished in any biome at any layer with the exception of the corruption, hollow, and desert. Vial of Venom. Purchased from the witch doctor after defeating Plantera, post Plantera. Gold Dust. Purchased from the merchant, hard mode. Icor. This is dropped from Icor stickers in the underground crimson, hard mode. Cursed Flames. This item is dropped from world feeders, vile ghouls, and clingers in the underground corruption, hard mode. Nanites. These are sold by the cyborg in hard mode. Confetti. These are sold by the party girl in hard mode. Now that we have all of the materials out of the way, let's go into the potions. Lesser healing potion. One mushroom, two gel, two bottles. They can also be purchased from the merchant or found as decoration pieces in the dungeon. Heals, 50 health. Healing potion. Two lesser healing potions, one glowing mushroom. Heals 100 health. Greater healing potion. 
3 bottled water, 3 pixie dust, 1 crystal shard. Heals 150 health. Super healing potion. 4 greater healing potions, 1 nebula fragment, 1 solar fragment, 1 stardust fragment, and 1 vortex fragment. Heals 200 health. Lesser mana potion. Sold by a merchant or found as a decoration piece in dungeon. Mana potion. 2 lesser mana potions, 1 glowing mushroom. Greater mana potion. Sold by the wizard. Super mana potion. 15 greater mana potions, 1 fallen star, 3 crystal shards, and 1 unicorn horn. Lesser restoration potion. 1 lesser healing potion and 1 lesser mana potion. It has the effect of both lesser healing and lesser mana potions. Restoration potion. 1 mushroom, 1 glowing mushroom, 1 pink gel, and 1 bottle. Restores both health and mana. Strange brew. This is purchased from the skeleton merchant and restores a random amount of health between 70 and 120. Recall potion. One bottled water, one specular fish, and one day bloom. These potions can also be found in chests in the underground. This potion will take you back to your spawn point. Teleportation potion. One bottled water, one chaos fish, and one fire blossom. These potions can also be found randomly in underground chests. This potion teleports you to a random location. Potion of return. One recall potion, one up city fish. This potion allows you to teleport back to spawn, but then allows you to teleport to where you were when you use the potion. Wormhole potion. Three bottled water, one specular fish, and one blink root. This potion allows you to teleport to other players on the same team as you instantly in multiplayer. Gender change potion. One bottled water, one day bloom, one moon glow, one blink root, one water leaf, one death weed, one shiver thorn, and one fire blossom. This potion allows you to change your player's gender. Animal reservation potion. One bottled water, one double cod, and one moon glow. This potion reduces the chance of consuming any ammunition by 20%. Archery Potion. One bottled water, one day bloom, and one lens. This potion increases the damage by 10% and velocity by 20% of arrow firing weapons. Battle Potion. One bottled water, one death weed, and one rotten chunk or vertebrae. This potion increases the spawn rate of enemies and critters. Magic Power Potion. One bottled water, one moon glow, one death weed, and one fallen star. This increases the damage of magic weapons by 20%. Rage Potion. One bottled water, one hemo piranha, and two death weed. This potion increases your critical strike chance by 10%. Summoning potion, one bottled water, one variegated large fish, and one moon glow. This potion increases the number of maximum minions you can have by one. Titan potion, one bottled water, one bone, one death weed, and one shiver thorn. This potion increases the amount of knockback enemies will take by 50%. Calming potion, one bottled water, one damsel fish, and one day bloom. This potion reduces the spawn rate of enemies by 17% and the amount of enemies on the screen by 20%. Endurance Potion. One bottled water, one armored cave fish, and one blink root. This potion reduces the damage taken by 10%. Heart Reach Potion. One bottled water, one crimson tiger fish, and one day bloom. This potion increases the reach of hearts from 2.625 tiles to 18.25 tiles. Inferno Potion. One bottled water, one flare fin koi, two up city fish, and one fire blossom. This potion creates a ring of fire around the player that deals 10 damage per second and inflects the on fire debuff to enemies inside. Invisibility Potion. One bottled water, one blink root, and one moon glow. This potion turns the player invisible unless the player uses a weapon or is hit by an enemy. Iron Skin Potion. One bottled water, one day bloom, and one iron flashlight ore. This potion increases your defense by 8 and reduces the damage taken by 4, 6, or 8, depending on your world's difficulty. Life Force Potion. One bottled water, one prismite, one moon glow, one shiver thorn, and one water leaf. This potion increases your health capacity by 20%. Mana Regeneration Potion. One bottled water, one moon glow, one day bloom, and one fallen star. This potion increases the rate at which your mana regenerates. Regeneration potion. One bottled water, one day bloom, and one mushroom. This potion increases regeneration. Thorns potion. One bottled water, one death weed, and one cactus. This potion strikes the enemy that strikes you with 100% of their damage. Warmth potion. One bottled water, one frost minnow, and one shiver thorn. This potion reduces damage from cold themed enemies by 30%. Featherfall potion. One bottle of water, one day bloom, one blink root, and one feather. This potion allows you to fall slowly and jump higher. Pressing S will allow you to fall at normal speed, and releasing S makes you fall slowly again. Flipper Potion. One bottle of water, one shiver thorn, and one water leaf. This potion allows you to swim through all three liquids, water, lava, and honey. Gills Potion. One bottle of water, one water leaf, and one coral. This potion allows you to breathe in water. Gravitation Potion. One bottle of water, one fire blossom, one death weed, one blink root, and one feather. This potion allows you to invert gravity so that you fall upwards. Be careful though, if you don't have a featherfall potion or a golden horseshoe, you will take fall damage if you hit the ground without quickly re-inverting. Obsidian Skin Potion. 
one bottled water, one fire blossom, one water leaf, and one obsidian fish. This potion allows you to not be set on fire or take damage while in lava. Swiftness Potion, one bottled water, one blink root, and one cactus. This potion increases your maximum movement speed by 25%. Water Walking Potion, one bottled water, one water leaf, and one shark fin. This potion allows you to walk on water. Who would have guessed? Danger Sense Potion, one bottled water, one shiver thorn, and 10 cobwebs. This potion gives you the ability to see things that will hurt you, like traps and thorns, or things that will slow you down, like cobwebs. Hunter Potion, one bottled water, one day bloom, one blink root, and one shark fin. This potion shows you the location of enemies, critters, and undiscovered NPCs. Night Owl Potion, one bottled water, one day bloom, and one blink root. This potion improves your vision at night, and sharply increases the radius of any available light source. Shine Potion, one bottled water, one day bloom, and one glowing mushroom. This potion makes your character illuminate in a moderate radius. Spelunker Potion, one bottled water, one blink root, one moon glow, and one gold or platinum orb. This potion shows you any unmined orbs that are on your screen. Biome Sight Potion, one bottled water, one fire blossom, one blink root, one moon glow, and five grass seed. This potion grants you the ability to see infected blocks. Fishing Potion, one bottled water, one crispy honey block, and one water leaf. This potion increases your fishing power by 15. Sonar Potion, one bottled water, one water leaf, and one coral. This potion tells you what fish or item is on your hook while fishing. Crate Potion, one bottled water, one amber, one moon glow, one shiver thorn, and one water leaf. This potion increases your ability to fish a crate by 10 to 25%. Luck Potion, one bottled water, one water leaf, one ladybug, and one black pearl. This potion gives you 0.2 luck. Lesser Luck Potion, one bottled water, one water leaf, one ladybug, and one white pearl. This potion gives you 0.1 luck. Greater Luck Potion, one bottled water, one water leaf, one ladybug, and one pink pearl. This potion gives you 0.3 luck. Builder Potion, one bottled water, one blink root, one shiver thorn, and one moon glow. This potion increases your tile and wall placement speed by 25% and extends placement range by one tile. Love Potion, one bottled water, one princess fish, and one shiver thorn. This potion, when hitting a solid block, will show a cosmetic of red hearts to all players, NPCs, enemies, and critters. Mining Potion, one bottled water, one antelion mandible, and one blink root. This potion increases mining speed by 25%. Stink Potion, one bottled water, one stink fish, and one death weed. This potion will emit green ferns to all players and NPCs within a nine tile radius of where the potion was thrown. Flask of Poison, one bottled water, and one singer. This flask causes any melee weapon or whip to inflict the poison debuff. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the witch doctor. Flask of Fire, one bottled water, and three hellstone. This flask causes any melee weapons or whips to inflict the on fire debuff. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the witch doctor. Flask of Venom, one bottled water and five vials of venom. This flask causes any melee weapons or whips to inflict the acid venom debuff. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the witch doctor. Flask of Gold, one bottled water and five gold dust. This flask causes any melee or whips to increase the amount of gold dropped by killing enemies. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the Witch Doctor. Flask of Icor, one bottled water and two Icor. This flask causes any melee weapons or whips to inflict the Icor debuff. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the Witch Doctor. Flask of Cursed Flames, one bottled water and two Cursed Flames. This flask causes any melee weapons or whips to inflict the Cursed Inferno debuff. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the Witch Doctor. Flask of Nanites, one bottled water and five Nanites. This flask causes any melee weapons or whips to inflict the confused debuff. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the witch doctor. Flask of Party, one bottled water and five confetti. This flask causes any melee weapons or whips to produce confetti every time the weapon is used. This is crafted at an imbuing station, which is sold by the witch doctor. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. This video actually took quite a while to make, so if you would subscribe, that would mean a lot. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers before January 23rd of 2024. I think we can do it because you guys are all amazing. Thank you again for watching to the end and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.